The wind chill is the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit that a human feels based on the air temperature and the wind velocity in miles per hour. If the air temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, then the wind chill is given by W of V. From 0 to 4 hours, the air temperature is a constant 32 degrees Fahrenheit. At time t equals 0, the wind velocity is 20 miles per hour. If the wind velocity increases at a constant rate of 5 miles per hour per hour, what is the rate of change of the wind chill with respect to time at t equals 3 hours? Indicate units of measure. We're being asked to find the rate of change of the wind chill with respect to time t. Now that's an issue because our function w, which is the wind chill, is a function of v, which is in terms of miles per hour. This is our velocity. However, we want to find dw dt. If we were to take the derivative of wv, we'd be finding dw dv. Now not all is lost because velocity is actually a function of time t. So if we think about this the right way, we can consider that we're finding w of v of t. And if we wanted to find the derivative of w with respect to time t, or in other words, take the derivative of w of v of t, we have to use chain rule. We have w of stuff. The derivative of w of stuff is w prime of stuff times the derivative of the stuff. Well, w prime of v, that is the derivative of this function, w of v. However, v prime of t, that's the derivative of velocity. At this point, we have w prime of v times v prime of t due to the chain rule. Now, we want to find the derivative of w three hours later. We need to find the wind velocity at time t equals three. Well, to find the velocity at time t equals three, we can think about the fact that our wind velocity is increasing at a constant rate of five miles per hour per hour, and at time t equals zero, the wind velocity was 20. So three hours later, our wind velocity is 15 miles per hour more than what it was, because three times uh, the an increase of a constant rate of 5 is 15. 20 plus 15 is 35. So here we have W prime of 35, since the velocity of the wind at time t equals 3 is 35, times the derivative of velocity. Now they didn't explicitly say what the derivative of velocity is, however we can figure it out by thinking about the derivative in a particular way. The derivative is rate of change. Well, the rate of change of velocity is constant. It's 5. So, I'm going to multiply this by 5. And this is my chain rule coming in right here. This 5, that's chain rule. Let's find the derivative of w. The 55.6 goes away since that's a constant. We'll bring down the 0.16 times negative 22.1. That gives us negative 3.536. So here we are, we have negative 3.536x, or v actually, to the power of 0.16 minus 1 is negative 0.84. And this is times 5. If I plug 35 into V, negative 3.536 times 35 to the negative 0.84 is equal to negative 0.178, and this is times 5. And so now this is equal to negative 0.178 times 5, and that's negative 0.892.
Now let's talk about units. We're finding dw dt. W is in terms of degrees Fahrenheit. T is in terms of hours. So we have degrees Fahrenheit divided by hours. And so our unit is degrees Fahrenheit per hour. This right here is the answer to the problem. Now let's consider the same problem in a different way. We'll look at another way to view chain rule. We're asked to find dw dt. Knowing fractions, we can break up dw dt as the product of two other fractions. Since w is a function of v, and v is a function of t, I can break up this whole thing as dw dv times dv dt. dw dv is the derivative of w with respect to v. And of course dv dt is the derivative of velocity with respect to time t. Our dv's cancel out. And of course this whole fraction equals dw dt. However, this is exactly what we just did but written in a slightly different way. And in my opinion, a more visually appealing way. Because if you look at this, we're asked to find w prime of v times dv dt is v prime of t, which is exactly what we came up with. However, visually, it does look much better.